I've been living outside of the US for well over a year and a half at this point. And part of what I enjoy about living in Asia is that the countries are all pretty close together and it's really inexpensive to travel from country to country. So oftentimes when I have flexibility in my schedule, I like to travel. And obviously because motorbikes are popular here and oftentimes space is limited just in travel in general in Southeast Asia, trying to do YouTube videos like this, talking about tech and things often requires that I come up with new or creative ways to light a situation or uh, different sources of light. I've owned the Loom Cubes. I'm using the Litra torches to light this video right now. And recently my fantastic girlfriend bought me the Aperture ALMX. Uh, and today we are going to go through a thorough unboxing of it. I'll show you guys what comes in the box, uh, give you guys a little size comparison, and just kind of go over uh, an initial impressions with some of the features and things that you can expect from this lighting system. Hey, my name is Mitchell. I like to make videos about the tech I use, things like cell phones, tablets, cameras, drones, and in today's video, we are going to check out the Aperture ALMX uh, light. It is a video light. I make YouTube videos and this is a piece of gear that I use to bring you guys content here on YouTube. If you guys are curious about life in Vietnam and what it's like living in Southeast Asia, I'll have a link to my other YouTube channel right up here. And also if you guys are looking to pick up the Aperture ALMX, I'll try to find an Amazon affiliate link. If you guys want to support my channel, that would be great. And let's just dive into this unboxing. Let's go ahead and open this up. Okay, top, nice box. We have a padded case. Okay, quick look at the case. We have the spot for the actual Aperture MX, AL MX there. We have some accessories. This looks like a little frosted diffuser of sorts. Another frosted diffuser with the magnetic kind of coupling system built in. We have some 3M branded Velcro. We have some more 3M Velcro. And this looks like a custom cutout. I didn't notice this before for the actual aperture unit. We have a little business card. Some instructions in English and Chinese, it looks like. Yes. Oh, and we have some instructions on how to stick that Velcro. Maybe we'll stick that Velcro at a later time. We have some of these elastic bands. These are kind of popular in Asia to put on cameras. I maybe I'm not quite sure. We have the warranty card. We have an aperture. Oh, this is a nice hot shoe adapter. It's got the larger half inch and we have a quarter 20 adapter. Little cork piece on top. 
We have a very thick USB Type-C cable, which is great. USB Type-C everything. And finally, we have the aperture light itself. And this thing is heavy. Woo, is it heavy. It is chunky. This heat sink, as you can see, this heat sink is almost half the width of this. Let me, for comparison, let me show you guys one of the lights that I'm using. Right now. So this is the Litra torch. And as you can see, it's about half the size. Thickness wise, it, we're, not, we're not saving that much space on thickness. Maybe I'll do a comparison for you guys. Let me. Okay. Uh, but as you can see, we have the on off switch. We have the color temperature, change color temperature, CCT. And then we can control. And I will be mostly using this for YouTube videos and filming uh, stuff for this YouTube channel. And I like to have a portable studio so I can take this on trips with me on vacation when I have to travel places. And this thing is going to be fantastic for that. Okay, back up top. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and brief hands-on. Until next time, it's been Mitchell coming to you from Hanoi. Salam alaikum.